I took the original phone call where somebody let us know that there was a, a fisher uh, that was not doing well and they asked if they could get him in a live trap and bring him to us. If I saw these images before he had been brought in, I would I would probably be similarly excited but also not not hopeful based on what I see here. This picture where he's dragging his back end, this animal was not likely to make it. It was definitely a long shot, but we wanted to try. For the initial exam, something was definitely wrong with his back end, basically from his hips down. And very minimal pain response, so that was not encouraging. The good thing was x-rays were pretty normal. So when we were doing our exam on him, he still had some normal reflexes present in his back legs. He just barely had that flinching motion where we knew that something might still be there, so we wanted to give him a chance. He can run backwards, but not forwards. For this patient, we tried a lot of different techniques. At the beginning, it was a lot of physical therapy. Uh, we would manually move his legs. He would very eagerly try to walk with the front end, but the back end wasn't really connecting. It was interesting, we had to constantly update his treatment plan, trying very uh, unsuccessfully to keep a cone on him that he couldn't chew off was interesting as well. We ended up trying uh, water therapy a couple of times. Later, he started being able to, to walk completely on his own without help, but not well. We started to introduce more obstacles to him for him to just start to try and climb up on. It really became part of his physical therapy. The first time he took a bound up a log was impressive and something that I don't know I ever really thought was going to happen. Uh, so it was very rewarding just to see those improvements in him from no movement at all to actually using his claws and, and climbing and running up logs. Fishers are known for being really good climbers. We saw him starting to climb on the chain link a lot, but we didn't know if he would be able to balance on, on thin tree branches. And at some point we put in a board that was a couple inches thick and put food in the middle of it hanging on a bucket and uh, he was able to do it first try. We felt like he was getting closer and closer to release. It, it never seems real and you never want to jinx it until it's done. And he passed all the tests to be able to be released. The release was a, a huge event. Getting all set up, opening the door and, and watching him bound up a, a snowy hillside. Just to be able to make a difference for the fisher population is just an amazing feeling. That is 100% why we do this job is to take care of everybody. It doesn't matter if they're the, you know, 500 squirrel that we've seen that year. Um, or the only fisher we'll ever see, but we do it because we're able to make that difference. The fact that this animal was able to make it to release is just a little bit of a miracle.